area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. The first time I took drugs, I ain't play no games. I'm Lynn Bias. You shouldn't have tried. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. I got to give a shout out to every single one of y'all. Rum nitty. I ain't want to, but the bitch tried it. Then I got indicted. Rum caught a third degree on drugs like Rich Pryor. I've been fired. Versus drugs just went down. Rum Nitty versus drugs. And I must say, you know, salute to both of these guys for making it to where they made it in the tournament. A lot of people going into this kind of felt like Rum Nitty, who had already previously battled drugs, was going to get this one. You know what I'm saying? And um, I felt like, and I feel like, Vodafly gonna react to this and, or recap this and say Nitty caught a 30 on the drugs, bro, and it was so. Um, what I will say about this battle is um, Jack Boy in his last battle with Cortez leveled up. He's one that you're probably gonna be seeing again. Uh, no hate on drugs, but this just this just wasn't it. I got uh, Rum Nitty winning 3-0. Um, every single round, Rum Nitty had punches. And he had just enough punches in two weeks time frame. You know, he had some a lot of drug flips in there. I give you what he had uh, in his first. He said, what did he say? Give it to us. Uh, smoking drugs again soon as I came down. Watch drugs in Houston like Whitney Def. Rum caught a third degree on drugs like Richard Pryor. I put 15 in the DMV driver's permit. You barely consider drugs like caffeine. Like he just had this standard flips that he needed to get him through the first round. First round was pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie, man, you know what I'm saying? It was a little sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle some gas in there, you know what I'm saying? But that's what you get when you get punches that flare and go back to back. Drugs in his first round, lost. He was talking about like, you have a fight and you come back and bring your brother. He said lost and brought back a different nigga. Uh, he was talking about the Yoshi battle. He said he taught Yoshi about the Bitcoin. He wouldn't come back in Ethereum. If you know about Ethereum, if you know about Bitcoin, if you know about Dogecoin, Doge gang, get that Doge. Um, he had a time management ball. He had to ruin your face like Lil' Kim. It just wasn't enough. I'm just being honest. Like, no no salt, no hate. I, I, you know what I'm saying? This is my channel. Respect my handle. Um, Rum Nitty second round. I lost use of body and didn't feel no type of way. Take everything that was war on drugs like Richard Nixon. Take your jewels. Take everything that was war on the war on drugs. Uh, after Moon rocked you, we seen the hardest drug flip ever. And just et cetera, et cetera, just going through the battle, man. Uh, drug second round did not beat Romney's third. And his third didn't beat him either, you know what I'm saying? And it's no knock on him. It's just a different level of competition. And this is a battle that we've seen happen before. And in the first battle, it was pretty much the same way. Um, I don't feel like, you know, it was like a super body bag, body bag, body bag. Because Romney, who definitely had the uppity hand on him, didn't put his foot in his neck and go for that jugular kill. You know, like Cortez is out there trying to rap for the kill. And you gotta probably battle Cortez next, who's gonna definitely be trying to get you out of here. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Some of this material that I've seen from Cortez, he could probably get with you in the next joint. I mean, we'll do predictions and all of that for the next one, but I'm just saying, um, today, Rum Nitty was just a better man. I know a lot of people say, oh, y'all be sleeping on Rum. We're not sleeping on Rum, it's just, when you're battling and you're just punching, if it doesn't land or something that's not a room rocker, it becomes a dry spot. Not saying that Rum Nitty had a lot of dry spots in his battle. I'm just saying that he's going to need more than what he did today to beat Cortez, who's really like the trailblazer out of that bracket right now. Like, Cortez is wilding. Um, you'll probably see drugs around more, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know people, a lot of people like to talk down, oh, he's not good, whatever the case may be. But he did make it this far, and it was the biggest look that he's ever got. But in this scenario, it's just one of them things where the better MC won today. Uh, like I said, they battled before, and Rum Nitty got that clear. So to have to write again for the same person you just battled probably less than six months ago, I don't even know how long ago it was, don't even give me the line. But uh, I will say that... Um, Rum Nitty was in his bag. 
you know, I don't want to nitpick. Get it? I don't want to nitpick Nitty too much, but I will say that um, he definitely did his thing. You know what I'm saying? But now the bigger spectrum opens. The who's gonna be on known? Who you gonna see for that hundred thousand? And I just feel like you know, in them smaller rooms. Rum Nitty, you're going to have to channel that Iron Solomon bag. You're going to have to channel that Chilla Jones bag. You're going to have to channel that New Jersey twerk bag. You're going to have to channel that Shotgun Shug bag. A lot, I got like five or six battles that you had with other people for less than 100000 that you've been doing better than these performances for, is what I'm saying. Like, you have better bags that you've jumped in against people. That's all I'm saying. And I just feel like if you're going to be the one that's going to be there, and gonna battle a Geechee or a Swamp, you're gonna definitely need to step it up just a little bit more. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Like um, like I said, both of them guys did their thing, but Rum Nitty was just, <laughs> Rum Nitty tonight. It was literally a Rum Nitty layup night where he just did what he had to do and got by uh, drugs who didn't put up much of a resistance. I didn't feel any way throughout the whole battle that Rum Nitty was in trouble. You have to make it, like when K-Shine battled Rum Nitty, you felt like Rum Nitty was in trouble after when he started slipping up and stuff like that. Like you gotta put pressure on him and I don't feel like he had much to any pressure, you know what I'm saying? I just think that it's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot more to be the guy of Rum Nitty's caliber and Rum Nitty's stature in this type of setting, you know what I'm saying? Like there's been other settings where on bigger stages, Rum Nitty has had questionable battles and people have got him like JC got him once and a couple other battles too but uh congratulations you know what I'm saying it's no it's no knock on Rumney it's just I see big things for him and this he's got kids four kids this money could change his life um he's he's gonna have to jump in that bag though like like I, I've seen you get by Jones I've seen you get a layup in this one but you're gonna really have to get in that bag like like the fries is at the bottom salute to Mark Jones you got to get in that bag like like in that bag, chapstick style, in the bag. But uh, other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. Show Thomas SP. Take him away, gang. Rub Nitty just came in here with the. <laughs> 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 that nigga Nitty came through with the first round. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you throw a little sauce on you tap the backboard, you got the fast break. <laughs> um, as predicted, uh Rum Nitty 3 up. Um It got dark. I'm not turning on the light because it's, it's, it's dark. It's just dark. I feel like alright, let me not let me not hype this up. I mean, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow. This was the rematch. That we all did not want to see. You know what I'm saying? This is the rematch that was happening. And we saw it happening. And we was like, I don't want this to go down. But it happened. And that's the way that it is. Um, Rum Nitty was better than what he did with Sirius Jones. Um, he was better in this battle. I do think that there are some things that... Um, you know, Nitty was saying that nobody was catching. Uh, my favorite one so far, he says, when it comes to drugs, I don't play no games. Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias. Do y'all know who Lynn Bias was? He was supposed to be the next Jordan. I think he was the number one draft pick. See, I don't know a lot of sports references, but I know this sports reference. I got this one. And apparently Lynn Bias, uh, um, that night that he got drafted, he went and had a party. And he had some fun. And he had too much fun. And sadly, he overdosed and died. This was in the 80s, so I'm just saying, you know, everybody was on dope at that time. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Now, speaking of drugs, we didn't want the drugs in the 80s. There was a war on drugs, all right? Ronald Reagan made sure that we had to say no. Barbara Bush and all of them was like, no, just say no to drugs. Nitty was the dare line, okay? <laughs> Nitty just had to just make sure he wanted to secure his 100K um, he advances on to the next round. Um, as far as drugs, you know, we, um, you know, as far as drugs, you know, I like what he brought to the table. I just think there's a lot of things that he needs to fix. Um, and I'm glad he got that opportunity from what he did against Yoshi. That was amazing. Um, but you know, uh, uh, this week it just wasn't enough. And, um, I got Rum Nitty clearly with the 3-0. I don't know if the judges got all it was clear or anything. I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know how I feel. If, 
you know, if y'all feel like there was a round or two that drugs might have got, please in the comment section below put that down. But I'm just saying the limb bias John took it over for me. I'm gonna go ahead about it. I wish I had a ball, somebody could hand me the rocks. So I'm like, eh.